Good afternoon. So, every one of us, each of us, we all desire loyal customers. And today, I'd like to show you how Shopware subscriptions will help us all to achieve this. As you can see, I'm Martin, I'm product manager here at Shopware, and let's go. Shopware love subscriptions. And that's because our merchants really love subscriptions. And that's because their customers love subscriptions. And I'm pretty sure in about 15 minutes, you will all love subscriptions too. So let's take a step back and make clear what we are talking about today. Um, we all know subscriptions from different times of business models. For example, time-limited access, like your favorite streaming service, or recurring deliveries, as you might know, know them in food or beauty. Or don't forget the old uh, newspaper subscription where you get a new issue of your favorite magazine every week or every month. And the good news for us is that with Shopware subscriptions and a little magic from our powerful flow builder, we can deliver the two most important of these model, uh, business models today. And since this is the active stage here, I know I need uh, your help too. Um, please raise your hands if you at this moment have at least one streaming service running. Some, some yeah, almost everybody. And yes, please, please leave your hand up if you have two or more streaming service contracts running. And three. And now only leave your hands up if you like the situation. Okay, <laughs> I assumed this. I think this is a topic we can discuss later in the Q&A. Okay. Um, but first, let's talk why are subscriptions so powerful. We all invest a lot of time, time, money, and effort in building a funnel for our customers. So why don't turn a one-time purchase decision into a recurring one? That's what subscriptions are for. We are building a, some kind of shortcut in our funnel for our customers. Besides this, um, there are a lot of market trends on our side. Here's a perfect example of a quote from Dane. Um, he's the CEO of Europe's largest traveling company. Even he believes in subscription, and you see this is a, uh, an industry where you at the first moment, maybe don't think about subscriptions. And to add some hard numbers, these are the prospects for the US shipping market alone. And as you can see, we are talking about plus 50%, plus 50% in the next three years alone. So you see, the, the market is ready for subscriptions, and now your Innovation is required, and Shopware makes it very easy, as we will see in the rest of my presentation, to adapt a subscription business model. But now let's look at what makes subscriptions in Shopware so strong. They are both simple and powerful. Simple for the customer and for the merchant. On the customer, from the customer's perspective, they are very easy to spot. You see their benefits and their availability at, at a glance. Choosing a subscription is as easy as a one-time purchase. That makes choosing the, the, the subscription the easiest. And of course, before you close the contract, you see all necessary data like starting date, um, the schedule, the price, etc., are all upfront. So it's no problem to choose a subscription. On the merchants, from the merchant's perspective, it's the same. For every order your customer places, on the one hand, a contract is created, and on the other hand, for every shipment, an order is created in the name of the customers. That's how easy subscriptions work in Shopware. So this means that you can handle subscriptions as a normal order. You don't need any special workflows for this if you don't want to. 
It's very easy to adapt subscriptions in Shopware. If distinction is necessary, of course, every subscription order is marked as one and linked back to the contract. So as you can see from a plan, as we call uh, a subscription offering, um, the customer goes through the checkout and a subscription um, a contract is created. And from this contract, orders are created automatically. So maybe at this moment in time, some of you are asking this one important question. How are, current, are recurring payments realized within Shopware? In the best case, without user interaction, right? So of course, we built an interface for this. An interface that is free for all, free for every payment provider. I see them in the round here. So you can start uh, um, adopting this and make your payment method ready for pay, uh, Shopware subscriptions. And as we, some of you may know, are very close with PayPal, we are very proud uh, that we are one of the first partners to introduce PayPal vaulting. PayPal vaulting is a perfect solution for uh, subscriptions. Because once authorized by uh, your customer, you are free to withdraw money from his wallet or his credit card. And you don't need to interact for this. You, and this is live at this moment with our PayPal um, plugin in our store. So you should look into this. Even if you don't want to use it for subscription, it's great for reg regular checkout too. So if you decide you want to try out a subscription model, a subscription business model in Shopware, how can you customize your offerings? It all starts with intervals, with the shipping schedules, with you, with which you can freely define. For example, every month, every two weeks. And if this is not enough, you can switch to advanced settings. Here you can, for example, bind your intervals to specific days of the week. This is perfect to plan shipping runs, for example. And of course, a preview of the next shipping days is av available for you to check and for your customers. And do you remember the term plan I used before? With plans, we mean um, we mean combining several intervals uh, to one instance for easy management. So for example, if you want to add a um, subscription to a whole group of products, you can add these plans to this product, and they are all available for subscriptions. In addition, you can, of course, um, add um, discounts to your plans, percentage discounts, if you like to. And you can define a uh, minimum duration before it's not possible to cancel this subscription by your customer. When he decides to do so, he can does do this all in his account, by the way. And this is really, really a quick overview uh, about the subscription functions in Shopware. They are really simple, but at the same time very powerful. And of course, subscriptions are fully integrated in our flow builder, in our rule builder. They are totally expandable by you and your agencies. And they are 100% compatible with our app system. Before we go to a Q&A session, where I think we can discuss a lot of business model and issues we see in the subscription market today, I want to take a small look into the future of subscriptions, subscriptions in Shopware. And for this a special feature today, I want to show you all here three concepts that we are working on for subscriptions in Shopware. And therefore, I need your feedback, maybe later on, or I will present you my contact details on the last slide. So take a photo and write me an email if you have any experiences or wishes or thoughts on this, this would be great. OK. Our first, first concept for the future would be mixed cards. Customers should be able to carry subscriptions and one-time purchases in the same shopping cart through the check, checkout. 
This is max flexible on the one hand, and very, very customer friendly. And of course, it has enormous potential for upselling. Our second concept is called open deliveries. If you regularly send packages to your customers, why don't virtually open them for your customers so they can put additional stuff in it? Maybe you can send them these even without additional shipping cost. This is also a huge upselling potential. And last but not least, B2B subscriptions. You heard or will hear a lot of our B2B features uh, this day. And we are thinking about combining our subscriptions closely with our B2B features so that following the trend to offer uh, B2C benefits to B2B customers, you can fully integrate subscriptions into your B2B workflow and yeah, create whole new business ideas. So these are our three concepts. First is mixed card, second open deliveries, and B2B subscriptions. And this is a very short overview about the functionality we have today and things we are working on in the background at the moment. And I'm really happy to have, on the one hand, your feedback now, or you can send it me by email, so please take a picture if you like. You can send me your ideas on anything or write me on X. No problem.